How's your eye? can see I put everything away put whatever needs to be in the freezer the fridge whatever the fuck everything is out the bag and done with I was gonna do a little cleaning oh and I also y'all seen that I like fixed up my dresser I fixed this up too now it looks a little crazy because I just finished eating and I was moving things around but um yeah I want to take off this wig next I have any alcohol just I know this is not the right way to do this but this should have been lifting for the longest. It's just like I'm surprised it's just not sliding off. Like this is definitely part of my reset. Wait, I was supposed to do a little cleaning too. I'm trying to see what I want to clean. I see like it's coming off like Okay, I took out my wig. Let me show y'all. Today is Sunday. I go to class like this. No, I'm not really not going. To, I'm really not going to class like this. But y'all know what I mean. I'm so bored. Boom. My claw. Boom. <laughs> in the middle. No, it's not in the middle. Come on. What teacher I look like? What are you talking about? I like a teacher. Boom. We're gonna pick up a package. <laughs> y'all, we finna pick up a package. Like, y'all know how I feel about packages. I be mad excited. Like, even though I know what I'm getting, but it's just like, we finna pick up a package right now. Yeah, what time is it? It's 2.23. Um, yeah, hair looking crazy as shit, looking like a crack head. But I'm gonna go pick up my package. I don't care. I just keep my hood on all day. 
tomorrow um if you guys watch my last vlog you guys know that daria will be doing my hair tomorrow so i won't be looking like that like that mm -hmm. for so long so yeah let me go get my ip my key and put my paper towel back in my room and we feel the leave. So also in my last vlog, y'all know that I ordered a shower holder and I also ordered the rest of my um, bath and body lotions. Cause you know, I picked up two and then the rest had to be shipped. So that's what I'm gonna go pick up. I'm gonna go pick up the shower holder and I'm gonna go pick up the bath and body. That gave me trouble with that um that shower holder cause it was not, they was not trying to deliver my package. Like they said, oh, we tried to deliver your package, but you know we couldn't but i'm like how that's impossible like none of my packages do that like y'all just stupid oh it feel brick i'm gonna pick up two packages okay, your ID, there you are. thank you you're welcome just sign off yep okay Thank you. All right, we gonna film real fast before my camera. Well, my camera's not gonna die instantly, but y'all know what I mean. I'll start off with this first. This shower holder. Um, comes in this box. It says Hula Plus. So I'm gonna open it. Comes with this little thing. I guess you could just put it in here when you're not using it. And yeah. Here's a shower holder. Um, I'm going to set it up after, but I just want to show you guys how it looks. Of course, I'll show you with my phone on it and everything. But yeah, that's how it looks. So next, our bath and body lotion. Plus my roommate on the phone. I'm trying to finish this before she come back in the room. Talking so mad loud. Japanese Cherry Blossom. Second one, the online exclusive, um, Sensual Amber. Third one is like a little Christmas theme-ish, Vanilla Bean Noel. Yep. And the last one is A Thousand Wishes. I actually had the roll on to this and it smelled so freaking good, so I figured the lotion would smell um, really good as well. And then y'all know I got the, if you watched my last vlog, Galiptus Lavender, and then I got Fall and Bloom, like a fall set. So, yeah, those are all my lotions that I bought. I don't know what I'm finna do right now. I know I'm just finna, like, brush my teeth, go in the shower, like, you know, get myself together. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna actually, um, finish editing the vlog that I keep referring back to, because it has to get posted today at 5, so... And I'm gonna charge my camera, so I'll just talk to you guys when something else is happening. So let me tell y'all, right? White girl lost her ID, so I just put on some clothes. I just all I did was brush my teeth and everything, fixed up my hair a little bit, but it still looks stupid. Then I want to just put on my hoodie, my favorite hoodie, some sweats, cause I need to go get my ID. Today is wing night. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all, cause I'm always taking y'all wing night. I don't know if y'all gonna see wing night again. I don't even know, but. I gotta go get my ID. Like, I've been looking for two days. And y'all remember the last clip? I mean, when I went to the mail office to go pick up my packages, he gave y'all so he gave back my ID and I put it in my pocket. And for some reason, I could not find it after that. Like, I don't know if I dropped it. Because in my head, I'm thinking I put it right back in my drawer where I was my key, my wallet, everything in there. Bro, it's not even there. I have no ID. And I need my ID, cause yeah. So we're gonna get my ID. All right, y'all. So I know I look crazy. I just got off the shower, so the the like the steam just messed it all up. So um, but I came on to tell y'all that I got my ID. Yeah. Yep. Y'all see it, bro? Cute. Hold on. Um, so yeah, I got my ID, paid $50 for that, 
And on top of that, I had to pay for this thing. It was like $8. But still, like, how is this expensive as shit? Like, $50 to replace? Like, that's a bit crazy. But I'm still debating if I want to take y'all to wing night. Like, I don't know if y'all want to see that. Like, I don't know. Like, but it's just like, I usually just vlog my week out. My wing night don't start around like 6. It's like 4 something right now still. So, yeah, we're just going to wait. Okay, that's the update all right yeah i know i haven't talked to y'all like well it's really just been a day i haven't talked to y'all really much yesterday um, there really wasn't much going on um, so yeah yesterday wasn't really much going on i just hung out with kennedy and now i'm here taking my anatomy and physiology midterm exam and i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm nervous as shit i literally just finished my last question i did not submit the test yet i'm nervous like I already, I'm on my period too. I'm on my period, so y'all know my cramps is booming like shit. So, like, my stomach is even hurting a little bit more now because I'm just nervous as shit. Like, like, midterms and final exams, like, make or break your grade. And right now, I currently have a B in her class. So, which is fine. Like, I'm really shooting for an A. But, like, um, as a nursing student or nursing major, like, an A or a B is only um, acceptable. Nothing lower than that. So, I'm fine, but I'm nervous about this exam. Like, I don't want to submit it, but I'm getting on the camera because I want y'all to see my grade first. Here we go. I'm about to submit it. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all can see. Let me turn on my brightness, baby. But I am on my last question, so I'm about to just hit submit over here. Right over here. Let me make sure it's zoomed in. I mean, focus on actually. So submit. So I'm not gonna look. It says submit now for scoring. Otherwise, cancel to return to your assignment. So I'm gonna submit. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't want. I don't want to click. Okay. Do y'all see my grade? Do y'all see my grade? <laughs> I'm not opening my eyes. Hold on one second. Let me open. Let me open. Oh. I got an 88. That's not bad. That's really, but I got a calm 88. Like, I got a calm 88. I'm not mad. Like, I'm really not mad. I got an 88. Shit, man. At least I, at least I passed. Like, now nah, I can breathe. Like, I can really breathe. I need some water. Now left is really just these... Now left that I have to do before the semester ends. Classes end December 9th. Today is Friday, November. Oh, Friday, November 18th. Um, I leave on Tuesday to go back to Brooklyn to my family for the Thanksgiving break, and I won't be coming back. I won't be coming back till like December 4th. Yeah, so I have a long break on my hands. So only thing left that's really major with this class, a lab practical and I have my final exam because I just took my midterm. So yeah, like, keep me in y'all prayers. Uh, next semester in the spring, I'm taking this class in person, so I really got to be on my A game. Like, I'm finna go make me a beef patty in my air fryer because I'm hungry, y'all. I didn't eat nothing all day, like literally all effing day. It's just two days after I took the exam, my last clip. But right now, I'm just cleaning out my room because I leave tomorrow for New York and I'm going back home. And basically, I had to pack and I had to remove everything under my bed because that was one of the policies for the break i guess so I moved everything out of my bed i sweeped a little bit i got like pick up those stuff over there here's my suitcase um i gotta clean out my desk area my bed looks like a mess i also have clothes out there getting washed um i'm basically moved everything that was under my bed to my closet that's what i'm doing right now what time is it it's 10 27 at night when I reach the Brooklyn, I am going to get a washing set, so, because my hair needs wash real bad. Yeah, I know I had in that wig, or like glue and stuff, my hair is not clean.
because my camera is in my bag and I don't really feel like getting it. But I'm in the elevator, got my suitcase in my bag, got my other bag in my bag. Y'all, I got my suitcase and my bag and my other bag. Hey, yeah, we better go home. It's like 12.50 something, my bus coming at 1.10, so. It's not gonna be that long to get there, but I'm just out. It's time! Hey y'all. Crazy, period. No, but I gotta tell y'all, cause y'all know I tell y'all everything. But no, I really gotta tell y'all about yesterday, right? Boom. So the last clip y'all saw me is when I was leaving, when I was in the elevator trying to, you know, leave the residence or whatever. So now I get on the bus, right? No, I'm lying. I'm waiting for the bus. My bus is from 110, y'all, right? 110. Keep that in mind. Now, I'm not really sure if the bus don't come. I see another girl pull up. She go to the camp. She go to the school or whatever. She pull up. I'm like, hey, what time is your bus? She like, my bus is for 145, which is kind of a little odd to me because we book the same bus company and usually it'll be times like 110, never like a 145. It'll be from 110 and then a 310. You see what I'm saying? So... I'm like 145. That's a little odd. But anyways, I was like, okay, well we'll see. We'll see if your 145 bus come. Her 145 bus did not come. So now I'm getting annoyed because mind you, it's mad brick outside. It's like 28 degrees outside. It's mad cold, right? So I called the bus company. Like, hey, um, I had a bus that was supposed to pull up at 110. An hour has gone by and there's no bus to take me back home. And also other people are waiting, but their bus didn't come either. So like, what's going on? Like, I ain't getting no email. I ain't getting no text saying that the bus was going to be delayed or the bus was going to be canceled for the entire day. Like, what? Y'all not communicating. So she was. She finally goes and say, um, I'm surprised somebody had called you guys basically saying there's no bus for the whole day and bus is canceled or whatever. So, I'm over here like, what the fuck, bro? I'm over here mad pissed. Like, I done packed, done bring this big, heavy-ass suitcase all the way down here. It's just a lot. So, I'm like, okay, cool. When is the next bus? She gonna say 2.45 in the morning. Mind you, it's like, what, two-something in the afternoon right now? I did not want to wait because one, it's mad late, and it's going to be even be more cold outside. Two, this is I should have put this as number one. Number one, fuck the time. Number one, buses around that time. Like I got, it's my probably my second time doing it, but I had got on two, three a.m. buses to go back home, y'all. And I think I told y'all in my last vlog, well not my last vlog, but it was my homecoming vlog. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. But Y'all, like, I literally told y'all when I got off that fucking bus, like, that bus smelled like mad fucking stink-ass booty. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just stink, like, really, really bad. And I'm thinking, like, okay, maybe that bus I got that day. But the second time I got on it, it was the same smell. So I'm like, okay, it's clearly, like, this bus time. I don't know. But bus in the 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning is a no for me. It just stinks all right long. Like, no funny shit, like... But anyways, so that's why I also didn't want to get on that 2, two in the morning bus because that's just fucking ridiculous. Like, what the fuck? And then I don't want to go back in my room. Like, it's just too much. Like, I want to go the fuck home. Like, I'm ready to go home. I've been ready for this day. Like, I don't think y'all understand. So, all right. So, I'm going to do it. So, I'm like, all right, miss. It's fine. She's like, oh, I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put you down so that the people know that they're picking up three people in Dover. Because my school's in Dover. So, I'm like, okay, cool. i hang up. But the girl next to me keeps saying, yo, there's there's a bus for 3 p.m. There's a bus for, not 3 p.m., 3, 10 p.m. So I'm like, but she told me that all buses for today are canceled. So at this point, we just confused. So she was like, you know what? We got an hour in. We got an hour left to like 3, 10. So we just, she was like, sit at the bench and wait till 3, 10 to see if a bus appears. Because she keeps seeing on the site that it says a bus is for 3, 10. But the funny thing is, mad students from the campus start pulling up to the, like, the bus stop. So we thinking like damn maybe a bus is really coming or like maybe maybe it's really canceled and you know other students like us didn't know they just come into the bus and get you know they're gonna get on a bus and go back home but mad students started pulling up so i'm like all right cool like i'm we just gonna wait it out we all we're not even gonna say nothing to them we're just gonna wait it out Three ten come no bus a few minutes after probably like five ten minutes after a bus pulls up so i'm like oh shit like the bus that i came so now i'm getting on the bus right 
the juicy part they ain't even saying so i'm getting on the bus now i put my suitcase and like under the bus i grab my duffel bag and my other bag and i find me a seat all the way in the back mind you it's mad fucking packed and ready so i wasn't the first person to get on the bus but I still got a seat, but it was all the way in the back, though. So, fuck it. Whatever. I get on the bus. I'm chilling. We riding. We riding. We riding. Boom. Right? So, with this bus, they usually make a... When I'm going back to Brooklyn, they usually make a stop to, like, the, um... To, like, the bus company. So, that the person that's in the, the store or whatever, they come out. They come on a bus and they check everybody's tickets to make sure everybody paid their fare. And nobody's riding for free. Cool. So, lady gets on the bus, she's checking everybody's ticket. She finally gets to me and the girl that I'm sitting next to. Mind you, this is the same girl that I was sitting with um, at the bench, and our buses didn't come. So, she checked her ticket first because she's on the first seat or whatever. I'm on, I'm by the window. So, she checked her ticket. She good or whatever. Put her name down. She good. Now, the lady gets to me. I show her my confirmation number. She like, no, 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 wrong bus. Da, da, da. Like, just saying, like, basically, you're not, supposed, you're not supposed to be on this bus. I'm like, miss. We're not going to sit here. We're not going to do this. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get out of here. We're not doing this. First of all, I had a bus ride 110 and I called the company. I'm like, yo, the company said that the next bus is gonna be at 245. But um, she happened to say, like, if there's any bus that come like after that, just get on. You don't have to pay because, like I said, it's not your fault. It's their fault. And it's my just the bus. This bus is going to Brooklyn. It's not like this bus is taking me elsewhere. This bus is going to New York, bro, so, like, yeah. So, um, how the fuck I'm on the wrong bus, but me and the girl, we had we had two different times. But this bus is for 310, but none of our buses was for 310. Mine is for 110, hers is for 145, so I'm just confused. How the fuck she good and I'm not? But we, we must be both on the wrong bus. Like, I'm, I'm fucking confused. So, when I peeped was, I looked at her, conf her confirmation number. So, her starts with an R. Mine starts with an L. So, I'm like, what the fuck is the difference? Like, mind you, we book on the same company bus. We book on the same company bus. So, I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? So, a lady arguing with me, arguing with me, talking about you got to pay. I'm like, respectfully, like, I done paid $45. I'm not paying again. Like, I have the money. That's not the problem. But it's just the fact that, like... You want me to pay a whole nother thirty-five dollars on this fucking bus? Like, are you kidding me? And think about Chinese people, like, not to be like prejudiced or anything like that, but I just that don't like y'all because I just feel like y'all always mad, like money hungry. Y'all are very greedy. Y'all always think somebody trying to skip y'all out your money. And one thing about Chinese people, they don't care. Like, they don't give a fuck. Who don't got it? Bitch, pay my money up now. Like, what the fuck? And that's what I don't like about them. Like, they really do not give two shits at all. Like, they don't care. Like, they they be feeding. Like. So I'm telling her, like, miss, I already paid. Like, I don't know who the fuck I paid. You better tell them to transfer the money over to you, something, because I already paid $45. I paid more money than everybody on this bus. So, um, because they're talking about people pay, like, $30, $35. Okay, well, I paid $45. So, if anything, yeah, I'm sitting on I'm sitting on this fucking bus, bitch. It ain't like I'm sitting on this bus for free and everybody else paying. Like, so she keep arguing with me, getting loud with me. I cursed her the fuck out. Like, bitch, I'm not getting the fuck up. So now this lady behind me, I guess she getting annoyed at me. She like, you know what? I'm going to just pay the fucking $40. You don't even got to do nothing. Like, it's fine. Like, I have the money. It's just unnecessary money being spent. Like, I already paid my fear. Why the fuck? Do I got to take out more money on my account for what? I, I already been paid, boo. So... It's y'all fault that y'all missed that that bus I was supposed to come for 110 and I'm on the next bus that's going to New York so I don't care. So anyways the lady like you know what it's fine we don't have time for you to go to the ATM and take out the money I'm gonna just give her the $40 alright that's fine shoot I'm, and I'm glad I didn't pay either cause the fuck anyways I wish the fuck I would. So and mind you I was holding up the whole bus so probably mad people was probably annoyed at me but I don't give a fuck but it was just this lady particularly behind me. She get the mind you, she gave the lady the forty dollars. Now the bus is moving. Everything calmed down. The lady get off the bus, running her fucking mouth or whatever. So now I'm just chilling over here. Mind you, I'm on the phone with my mom as well. Cause you know, one thing about it, when I'm pissed and everything, like I call my mother for everything. Like she's gonna know what the fuck is going on. Like the first person to know. So mind you, my mom is hearing all this. My mom is hearing all this argument between me and the Chinese lady. So my mom is just confused. Like my mom knows I'm upset. She just don't know what the fuck exactly is going on. So, now that the lady left, the bus is calm or whatever, the lady paid her. Now that I'm calm, my mom can speak to me. She's trying to ask me, 
what's go on? Like, what's wrong? What happened? So I'm explaining everything to my mother. The lady on the back talking about some. Oh, um, it's over. With. You could be quiet now. Blah, blah, blah. I said, bitch, I'm talking to my motherfucking mother. Like, mind your fucking business. Why the fuck are you talking to me? Like, I done told this lady. I done told this Chinese lady. Stop talking to me ten times. Why the fuck do you feel like you gotta still talk to me? Like, okay, cool. You was nice in the beginning. You paid the lady forty dollars, which I never asked you to do. But now you feel like cause you pay a little forty dollars. You get to tell me when to shut the fuck up. Bitch, you're not my mother, and I'm talking to my mother. So why the fuck you gonna tell me to shut up? Bitch, I'm not speaking to you. I'm not speaking to you. And even if I was speaking to you, oh fucking well, bitch. Like, it's to me. So why the fuck you feel like you could tell me what the fuck to do? Because you paid $40? Bitch, I could have done myself. But one thing about it, people's always gonna act like that when it's not them. Like, I swear to God, nobody's gonna give a fuck. Because it's not them. It's not them in the situation. And that's what I don't like about people. Mind your fucking business or shut the fuck up. Like, I don't know. Like, you see how everybody else is minding their business. They might have been listening, but they ain't saying nothing. You should have been one of those. Like, why are you, why are you even talking, bro? Like, the, I cursed her the fuck out. Like, that ass. Like, really tear her fucking a new one. And she finally shut the fuck up because, bitch, you know, she gonna talk about you mad rude. Damn right. Damn right, bitch. Because it's just like, you playing with me, like. You feel like you, alright, cool, you paid the $40, and now you want to be mad nasty to me. See, at that point, I was just so fucking annoyed, like, why is this old ass bitch trying to argue with me? Like, shut the fuck up, like, put in some fucking earphones, bitch, I don't know, like, why are you bothering me? Why are you talking to me? You gonna, and then it's just like, you know I'm already annoyed, like, I hate when people know that I'm already annoyed, and know if you say that, you're gonna piss me off even more. I'm just mad, like... I'm ready, to say, I'm ready to say everybody get the fuck off this bus. Like, all y'all pissing me off. I don't like none of y'all. Like, I, I just don't get it. And that's why I really didn't talk to y'all, like, through much. Because there was just so much going on. Like, so much. Then, right, I finally get off the bus. Mind you, I got a suitcase. I got a suitcase and a duffel bag. Mind you, this suitcase is heavy as shit. It's so real. My arms is mad sore. Like, I'm over here trying to reach over to my phone. I could feel, like... My arms being mad sore, like it just hurt so bad. That's because I was straining. Like I had to literally, when I was in a train station, because usually they be having elevators, but they have no elevators, boo. So I had to, you know, when I go under the, I mean, when I pay my fare, I had to pay it and then go open the door to bring my suitcase in. Then I had to go downstairs with that fucking suitcase. Plus on top of that heavy ass duffel bag, like it was just a hassle. Like, I could not pull out my camera for nothing. Like, I didn't even want to vlog because it's just like, I'm fucking annoyed. Like, anyway, I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. Oh, but no, you can't do it like a certain way because it will cover the camera. But, um, hey, um, y'all. So, this is a, like a couple of hours. I don't know how you had it, but it was good. Like, the camera might look a little funny. I think I got to wipe it. I oh. I don't know. My camera still looks a little funny to me, but... Just a few hours after my wax. Wax is a 10 out of 10, y'all. But the extractions hurt like hell. Like, it really, really did. And I couldn't really record my reaction because she had um, music playing. And I was going to get copyrighted. But, um, yeah, so the extractions really hurt. But overall, the wax was amazing. Um, what else? So right now, I'm on the way to the supermarket with my niece and my mom because y'all know Thanksgiving is in two days and we're getting like last minute stuff like you know how black people do last minute things whatever but we're going to the supermarket because we're making pie we're making sweet potato pie and yogurt pie and um I really don't like how my camera look but um, we're making those soup pies so we got the like the crust it's just like the stuff to make the pie so that's how we're going to the supermarket right now to go get and yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna go get my washing set because I look real crazy. Like, real, real crazy. Look at, look at this. Look at this shit. Like, get y'all damn kids. <laughs> I'm too old for that. <laughs> it's the scream. For it's me. really the screaming for me. Like, y'all is some baby kids. But, anyways, supermarket is right there, but we're almost there. But, um, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna get a washing set. Yeah, and get ready for a Rod Wave concert. Cause, what he said? I've been feeling pain for so long. I don't became numb. I don't make it no better. I give my heart to whoever. They take it and they run. You had me, but you lost I'm me. I'm not holding this up I'm in not the, in mad. The, um... I'm exhausted. Please, please, if you come around, give me something to make me smile. Yeah, I'm ready. 
Do you really right, need the light right. I'm gonna just sing the whole song for you. Like you don't even gotta, you don't even gotta perform. I'm gonna perform. I'm gonna perform. Yeah, we in a big front, y'all. Oh, look at my niece, y'all. Look at my twin them. Them. You gotta show them me in that. Oh my God, you want them to see you? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Embarrassing, but real spicy. <laughs> no, you're embarrassing, bro. Like you're really uh -oh, that embarrassing. Oh shit, we really about to get hit. But so yeah, I'm gonna see you in the supermarket. I already know We're montages right here. Why you stop? all day. See you in a bit. Y'all already know I got an update for y'all. Hold on, the train passing. All right, y'all. So we just left the supermarket. We only missed on one thing, like the pie crust for the sweet potato pie. If that makes sense, like the shell, you know. So they ain't having it in that supermarket. So we're gonna try this other supermarket out to see if they have it. But we got everything else. Like that's literally the only thing missing. So. Yeah, let's pray and hope they have it. Cause my mother wanted to get shit last minute, you know. Hey y'all, so we got the pie crust or whatever. We found it at the supermarket. My mom said let's get an extra one, so whatever. I don't know what job, but where is it? This juice right here is really my favorite and I had to buy it. So, um, yeah. All right, y'all, hopefully this light not too bright, but I tried to get the ring light out here because the light is the light here kitchen light is not that good so we run really like the ring light down here but we're back home um we're finna start making the yogurt pie then my mom while we're making the yogurt pie my mom's gonna be like peeling the potatoes for the sweet potato pie but me and my niece gonna make the um, yogurt pie because it's real easy question. real simple real five minutes and we done so you want to start getting the Hold stuff up. boo so what we're gonna start doing is washing this um, well, I gotta watch. Because you know I don't like. What should I? Uh, so what we're gonna do uh, for this is basically I'm gonna just tell y'all the ingredients. So we got for the yogurt pie we got graham cracker crust, yeah. But we got like two of them. So basically, guys, what you will need is basically for the yogurt pie because we're gonna start off with the yogurt pie first. You're gonna need depending on how many pies you're making the pie crust but we got two because we're making two two yogurt pies yeah you must buy you some cool whip yeah it doesn't matter what flavor it's to your liking yeah but and then any like yogurt to your liking so it's and then for the um for the sweet potato we got some ground nutmeg back it let me focus it Ground nutmeg. Right. Then we got ground cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Ruby. Some pure vanilla extract. You seen it. And then we got, let me do this one. Some carnation milk. You need two carnation milks. And then you got the, we got dark brown sugar. And then you need regular sugar. Yeah, regular yeah, sugar. Mm -hmm. First, we're gonna start off with the cool whip. So we're just gonna like take off the wrap, obviously. Okay, and then now that the Cool Whip is inside the bowl, we're gonna add some Dan and yogurt right there. Toast on. Toast on. I'm fucking tired of your shit. <laughs> Get out of my kitchen. Get out of my kitchen. But while she cleaning up, whatever she cleaning up, I'm just gonna mix the Cool Whip and the, the yogurt together. Taste test your food. We don't want to overwhip it. She puts my hand. She's a very dusty girl. Oh, it's yogurt pie. <laughs> She's a very. Mm hmm. Man, not the pie. 
That looks so good. Mmm. You know. Alright y'all, so my mom is pulling the potatoes right now. I can't wait. I think the sweet potato part is going to be like the exciting part. Cause, like, this we is not the first time. Yeah, yeah, we never really made it. Like we always had like other family members make it. But yeah. Riding with my turn up and we all look good as Hey, bitch, that's all my friend, but throw your nigga ass. I got condos in that bitch head. Yeah. Hey, bitch, that's Tell me my niece didn't do good with this smearing, like, she ate. All right, y'all, so y'all seen that the pie is all done and everything. Made in my bed. I'm on Netflix. Eating some salt patch. My salt patch. Anyway, y'all already know. Now December 1st is around the corner, period. that means Vlogmas is here. You know what we should watch? And I'm literally in the works of getting my vlogmas intro. Um, don't worry, guys. You know what we should watch for Thanksgiving? And I'm in a Christmas spirit, so I feel like Fucking we should watch this Christmas. And what what are you trying to say? You know, you know Soul Food? Soul Food? The movie? The, yeah. Yeah. We should watch this. That's not, that's not Christmas. No, that's Thanksgiving. Yeah, but that's Thanksgiving. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not really doing much. I'm just laying here. I think I'm going to go to the Dominicans. Oh my goodness. Around 11, 11.30. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be in and out. I don't feel like being in the order. So I'm going to just be there early. I wasn't even going to say like 8, 9 o'clock. Because I know myself. I was fucking pushing. I'm not waking up at no 8, 9 o'clock. I'm going to say 11.30. So we got to go wash this head tomorrow. And... Yeah, we gotta look normal again. Like, I wish I had a lash brush so I could just comb it out, but I don't. Hey y'all, so I'm on my way to the Dominicans. I woke up a little bit early. I'm supposed to leave at around 11 30. I'm not leaving. I didn't leave till 12 o'clock. You know, her. Um, yeah, what else? What else do I have to say? So, I'm gonna see y'all. When I get inside, my hair really looks so effing crazy. Enjoy, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I gotta get the next vlog going for y'all because y'all know Vlogmas is coming up. Vlogmas is literally around the corner, and I got some planning to do for y'all. So it's about time this video end. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it once again. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that bell, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next upload.